Our next award honours the best young talent in the VFL. The Fothergill Round Mitchell Medal presented annually to the most promising talent in the VFL under the age of 24. The award, Nat, has become a ticket to an AFL list in recent seasons. The past 14 winners have gone on to play AFL. They include, of course, Richmond three-time premiership star Kane Lambert and two players who've got an AFL premiership medal around their necks in the last couple of weeks in. Bailey Fritch, who came through, of course, the Casey Scorpions, and Michael Hibbert, who was a product of Frankston originally. The medal, of course, is named after Des Fothergill, Barry Round and Sam Mitchell, all of whom did the Brownlow medal and JJ Liston trophy double. Sam Mitchell, of course, is now the Hawthorne AFL coach. He played in a VFL premiership with Box Hill 20 years ago before being drafted to Glen Ferry Oval, and he's with us to announce this year's recipient. Hi, it's Sam Mitchell here, and what a truly unique VFL season we have had. The talent, and young talent in particular across this league, has been phenomenal and is going to lead to a lot of AFL players. The last 14 winners of this award have gone on to play in the AFL. That includes Lambert, Fritch and Hibbard, for examples. And the winner of this year's Fothergill Round Mitchell Medal is Charlie Dean from the Williamstown Football Club. Congratulations to Charlie. His own coach, Justin Plapp, said he exceeded his expectations. He's had such a terrific year. Yeah, Williamstown, already such a storied club in the VFL, Nat. They've been a perennial finalist in recent years. But this year, under Justin Plapp, they had an injection of young talent. Charlie Dean, obviously the feature, becomes their fifth Fothergill Round Mitchell medalist. The last of them was Adam Marcon in 2015. That was Adam's ticket into the AFL, of course, where he spent time on Richmond's AFL list. We caught up with Charlie earlier, who's hopefully a couple of months away from following suit. Charlie, congratulations. You started your football journey at the Sandringham Dragons, but you're now at Williamstown. What led to you crossing Port Phillip Bay? Yeah, so growing up, I played junior football with South Melbourne, and that was with Tom Collins, who's Andy Collins' son, um, and I had a great relationship with Colo and speaking to him after my under 18s year, it was sort of a no brainer in the end. And, you know, I, I, I'd always watch Williamstown growing up and knew their success. And I wanted to be a part of a team that, you know, plays finals every year. And obviously they've had a, a good run of drafting players as well. So, um, yeah, I think it ticks all the boxes in terms of culture and, and success. This award's got a long and glittering history. What does it mean to win the Fothergill Round Mitchell Medal? Uh, I've, I know a bit about the award and, yeah, it's an honour to receive it. And going into this year, it's something that I haven't heard of. But, um, you know, you know I, I know the likes of Adam Marcon, who's a legend at our club, has won it. And I know a few other handy footballers, including someone who played pretty well in the grand final on the weekends, won it. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to have those names behind it. Is there anyone you'd like to thank, Charlie? Yeah, I'd just quickly like to thank my teammates, um, in particular Jack Toner, who is also a, a great young player coming through the VFL. You know, we've worked really closely this year together and I think the young core group at Williamstown is really exciting um, coming through the ranks. And, yeah, I'd just like to thank all my teammates. I've taken a lot from um, each and every one of them and, and also my coaches and my family and my friends. And um, also thank you to the VFL. So well done to Charlie Dean from the Williamstown Seagulls. Jake Riccardi, the last Fothergill round Mitchell medalist, has made some good waves with the GWS Giants since he's been listed. Hopefully Charlie can keep the run going for the VFL, making an impact at AFL level.